guys, back out here. I've just chucked my head in to see if it's clear, even worth showing you guys what's going on. And it's not too bad. I put my head in and no joke, Spanish mackerel swim straight under me. It's super late in the season. And um, I'm gonna get the gun loaded and get in there. It's a little bit windy, not too bad though. Whew.
fun session it, I, I was surprised to see so many Spanish it was pretty fishy out there it was good it was good and, um, it wasn't as clear as I'd like it, it was still pretty green which makes it hard I don't want to get too far away from the ski especially when you're by yourself I dive super safe when I'm by myself I, I, I never push it I do quick dives like I'll probably only do max a minute when I'm when I'm solo and I'll just always make sure I'm really close to the ski. Now the hardest part is, is when you shoot them Spanish and they pull one way, skis going the other. That's why as soon as I shoot one, I'll try and get straight back on the ski. And that's the beauty of having the reel on the on the bottom of the um, of the gun as well. It gives you about 50 meters, so I can loosen that reel off and jump back on the ski. And I'll fight the fish a lot of the time on the ski until I can feel it getting tired, and then I'll jump back in and sort him out in the water. It's just a lot easier to put them out of their misery when they're in the water and get that shaft out too. But um, oh, I'm frothing. I was sick. Lost a couple. You seen me? I lost a couple. But anyway, we'll um, maybe do a little catch and cook. Hey, what do you reckon? Righto. I'll see you soon. Yeah. I don't worry about getting too close to the bone because that is about the best part for sashimi on the whole fish and I come along and you just get little slithers like that. Perfect. So it's just heaps quicker the other way too. Get the rib cage out. I like to keep that backbone in sometimes and just do steaks like that and leave it, leave it with the skin on so when I want to cook it, I can just run my knife down there and take the skin off. Run my knife down there and take the skin off. It just makes it super easy when you don't have heaps of time. Pretty nice flesh. They're pretty sustainable fish, you know, like they're... I think they're fully matured within like four years, so their growth rate's pretty good and they're always breeding, so. All right, nice and easy little cook up today. 
That's all we need. Bolt. Flower. Beer and fish. So. I'll wing it. About that much. About that much. You gotta save a little bit for yourself. Yep, that's good, that's good. Bit of a mix. This would be so much easier with a four. You wait there. Alright. Alright, and your fish. So what I was saying, I leave the skin on and the backbone in, pretty easy. If you go down and you just come along the top of that skin, perfect skinless fillet. Come back down on the other side. Voila. And I just do little strips. Look at that. This in there. And now I'm not allowed to cook in our kitchen because apparently I'm a grub, so you'll always see me cooking outside. All right, heat some oil up and we'll sort it out. All right, get the bowl of fish, your favorite pair of pink tongs, roll the fish in the batter, and off you go. We'll pull them out. Ooh. How good does that look? Ah, red hot. Fresh as it gets. Let's rip in. <laughs> All right, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be doing heaps more of this, so, you know, the more the merrier. Come along for the ride. We'll see you next time. You.